It's been a very slow day, been moving around. It's a nice one. Oh, there's one on the other rod, man. That's definitely the biggest mark I've seen here. Oh, I lost one. Oh, it was a nice trout. Conditions like we have at the moment, you can't really fish and camp at the same place. As soon as I made holes, the water comes up and slushes up the entire area. So I'm gonna go set up my camp over by that my other sleigh over there. That's where I'll wake up in the morning. Ready to fish. Morning, everybody. Not sure if you can tell, but it, I'm in my flip over right now. My first time sleeping over in it overnight. Everything worked out pretty good. The only thing is I only used a buddy heater for heat overnight and I did get woken up by my carbon monoxide detector this morning. So make sure you don't forget one of these if you're gonna sleep on the ice. I got everything I need in here. I got my water filter here. I just filtered, filled up my water bottles from yesterday and uh, made some coffee. Then obviously I've got my cot down here. It's all full of stuff now that I'm up because I kind of tossed it to the side to go to bed. I got my closet over here, my chair, a little coffee table, and that's it. I got the door right here. When you're putting the cap on your auger, either take the battery out of your drill or put it in the center position on the trigger here so that it can't be pulled. We're good to go to start fishing. Might be a little bit early, but we'll see. And I'm actually in a little bit shallower than I thought. It's 24 feet deep here. It drops down quite a bit in front of me. So I might be moving more over here later today. This little guy came in hot. He's a little guy, but he's lively. First trout of the morning. Came on a rattle bait. <coughs> Not quite sunrise yet. It's about eight o'clock. It's quarter to eight. Sunrise is about eight o'clock. Another one for the rusty clownfish. Took about five minutes after I drilled the holes inside for this slush to start happening. So even under the flooring here the flooring really helps to keep it more stable on top and you don't uh, crush all the snow into the hole as you're fishing you just got to be careful one good thing about camping in the flip over is almost everything is within reach once you're all set up you can jig your rod and make breakfast at the same time here is breakfast, this needs to be warmed up. It's got bacon, potatoes and eggs all in one. So these bags aren't perfect, sometimes they leak from the corners and, and let a bit of water in, but I think I was good this morning on this one. Nice hot breakfast. The chunks of scrambled eggs seem to be what takes the longest to warm up, so if you're gonna make some of these homemade, I'd suggest break the eggs up a bit smaller. That's definitely the biggest mark I've seen here. Don't wanna lose them. I think I've got a good hook set though. Oh yeah. Oh, he's hitting my transducer. I'll get stuck in there. Oh, I lost him. Oh, it was a nice trout. I was not hook set very well, but maybe he's gonna go get my Cisco outside. He's probably big enough for that i just started taking away the tiles and as soon as i stepped on the snow beside the hole it completely caved in you can see actually the water coming up in the hole just a second ago but 
Well, the spot where I've been set up at is come, becoming basically a big slush pool. I was camping right over there. But I had a hole over here, and now I kind of got stuck over here as you can see, but let's see how this goes. That was fun, but now let's check how deep it is here. Here's an example of what not to do with your battery. This is the biggest lake trout through the ice I've caught in this lake. It's been a very slow day. I've been moving around pretty close to my original spot. Just, just brought this guy up, but I want to give him a quick measure before I let him go. So he's 28 and a quarter. Officially the biggest lake trout I've caught in this lake before. Very welcome. Uh, surprise. And a very good fight also. So very happy. Whew. That was worth holding out for. It was just jigging and it jumped right on it. It's been very slow. I've caught the two, uh, the two fish in the shack this morning. And since then I haven't caught a thing. But... Uh, that fish just made my day right there. You can see there's more people behind there fishing. Whew, but that was fun, that was awesome. And the menu for tonight is my backup meal. I, uh, I brought most of the stuff to make a chowder with trout. And I did catch trout, but I didn't keep any because I forgot to bring potatoes. So <clears throat> that's why I always keep a backup meal. It's not my favorite to eat the, this type of stuff. When I'm camping, I kinda, I'm kinda kind of a food snob and I like good food, but I do have a bison steak to go along with it. And I'm gonna make the best of this. I did have the, <coughs> I had some heavy cream for the chowder, so I put some of that in instead of milk, which I don't have. I contemplated cooking my bacon first so that I could put some pieces in there, but it's pretty frozen and I don't uh, really need the bacon in here, so I'm gonna cook it later so that I can eat some tomorrow for breakfast. The bacon was an ingredient that was supposed to be for the chowder as well, so that's why I was going to put it in here, but <clears throat> ran out of patience and now I'm cooking. In medium rare, paired with the creamy parmesan sidekick, nice and steamy. Mm, that's some excellent steak. That was my only my second meal of the day. I had breakfast and then I fished really hard today. 
all day. I didn't. Uh, I only caught two lake trout, and I lost one at the hole, and that was it. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. One more night on the ice. This is going into my second night now. I just woke up. Uh, morning number two of my camping trip in the flip over. And I ended up sleeping on top of my sleeping bag most of the night because it was really warm. Coffee is brewing. Very, very good. Third one here is going to become Phil's hole. There's basically an underwater finger coming towards me from, from my right side, which is 30 feet deep. And uh, that's where I was fishing yesterday. And to my left side is the big lake. It's about 80 feet deep, at, uh, or 90 at its deepest, but adjacent to here goes to about 80 feet deep. And I'm set up on the little steady slope here, and I'm in 47 feet. I also fished in 60 feet right behind me yesterday, and that's where I caught so far as my biggest lake trout out of this lake. So it doesn't contain a bunch of monsters, but every time I come here, I always catch a bunch of trout. It's a lot of fun. If you're wondering why I'm zoomed out so much, because Phil's gonna be here in a bit, so we'll be able to get him in the frame as well. Phil, if you don't, guys don't know, because I don't have that many videos out yet, he's my cousin. We like to go fishing together when uh, when our schedules permit. Said he'd be here by 8, 8.30, what are you doing Phil? I hope he didn't get stuck in the road. Should be fine, it was pretty nice on my way in. <laughs> Il y a pas ça, si j'avais une de poignée puis une de perdue au trou. Ça n'a pas remordu jusqu'à ma grosse, c'est quoi? Deux heures. Ça change. C'est ça? Oui. Très petit. Je n'étais même pas payé attention. Je me suis dit, oh, j'ai perdu l'attention. Et oups, ça change. Oh, regarde ça. Un sucre! Non, c'est un sucre. Je n'ai jamais vu ça. Quand elle avait de l'air tout petit, quand même. That's why I snagged it on the jigging. It is too petit, but... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh! It's alive! Catch and release. <laughs> <laughs> if I can release it. I'm trying to show it to the camera. Look to a coil. Okay, I'm not gonna show it to the camera now. Let's go back in the hole. That's the smallest one I've got yet. <laughs> well, big work coming in. Big work. Yeah, that's your big fish right there. Good job, good job. Feel decent. Better. Watch the camera there. But... Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's fighting at the hole, eh? You got lots of leader, eh? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> got trebles right on there in. too, eh? I don't want to get trebled. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, bud. First fish of the day. Drops the rod right on the heater. Good for the line, you see. Why? Well, you're gonna have to check that line after. Well, that's gonna be dinner tonight. First lake trout of the year. There you go. Oh, that, that just turns you, eh? Or was that you just coming up the bar? Oh, I just stopped the camera, Bozo. <laughs> See if you'll struggle again. <laughs> gonna have to take a uh, foot of tube jig on mine too, I think. Oh, that's a nice one. Might be an under. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put it in the heater this time. Good job, bud. You're learning. You just put oh, it in the heater almost, though. Almost, almost. <laughs> Your second one has What's to be under? under 40 centimeters, eh? Oh yeah, Phil's got his limit. 38, bud. Basically the biggest small trout you can get. It's it's 40, yeah? Yeah. Cool. 
I might fills, lose uh, it. second fish of the day and he fills his limit just like there you that. Go. I'm gonna go. have to take his rod away now. I gave him my rod <laughs> to fish. Just like that, Phil. Come out here, show me how it's done, eh? I like this thing. I usually have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if I can entice it take that out of me. That's a nice. Come on. Let's see. Oh, That's a nice fish, eh? That's a decent fish, I got him. There's my keeper. I was just about to. <laughs> I was just about to uh, change baits, but. He had no problem taking in that rattle bait. And I swallowed it. And I feel the hooks. Yeah, I know he really swallowed it. I'm gonna need my pliers. There's might not be long enough, but give it a go. Better than my fingers. <laughs> it is. Good thing this guy's a keeper, yeah, definitely. So a big part of the reason I didn't keep fish on my first two days is because I knew this guy was coming and uh, sometimes they get hooked bad and they bleed but this fish is not uh, not in good enough shape to let him go back. Be good enough shape to go in my belly. Yeah. Oh, I melted my line off. Oh, you put the rod in the heater. I pulled the fill. Oh my goodness. And I was watching too, eh? <laughs> right at the end when I let go of the rod completely and went in the heater. <laughs> yeah. I want to make <laughs> Very small. Perfect. Like super small. Though. Super Probably small? Too small to keep, yeah. <laughs> my rod barely bent, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I don't know how I got this. I just snagged him by the tail. Poor little guy. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, eh? I could fish with that one. <laughs> nice bait. But you're not allowed to use trout as bait. <laughs> this is officially the le uh, smallest lake trout I've ever caught in pretty sure It has to be. That's smaller than some of the brookies we catch yeah. when we go up. You dirty in for mal. Fish out. It's a nice one. Oh, there's one on the other rod, man. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up, he's still there. <laughs> that was surprising. I never had a double header here. He's still there. Double header. <laughs> I don't, good thing you came fast, Phil. <laughs> Your flies are still here, by the way, if you go back outside. Don't worry about the door. I'm fogging, bud. Oh, you're fogging. <laughs> What's fogging the camera? My glasses. Oh, your glasses. <laughs> oh, yours is nice, too. I think you got a bigger one of the two, eh? He's gonna hold mine in the water till you're ready and we'll, we'll show them off at the same time. These fish are both going back. So. You good? You want your pluggers? They're right here. I'm good. Yeah, good. A little bit of a double header for Phil and I. Both guys going back. Sped out. <laughs> Oh, 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 Phil's doing the... Oh, oh. Phil's being clumsy again. He's gonna throw my camera gear in the hole. Phil, what are you doing? Head I first, man. I was going in there head first. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, it's all part of the excitement, eh, bud? <sighs> yes, sir. I think I let it go too quick. I didn't put the face in the hole enough to... Yeah. Look. The worst part is, is I missed it, eh? It let go. You know it was it on did, there? Yeah, I didn't know it was on I there. Was still reeling mine. It was on there, it let go. <laughs> I started reeling up again and it went came, came right back out. There you go. Oh, I got a fish on. <laughs> small, small. 
<laughs> like, might even be smaller than the other yeah, one. <laughs> Look at the size of this little guy. He's burping. No. I lost. <laughs> hey! When it's so small, you set the hook and you're not didn't even know it was there. I'm sure all you guys heard was jingle, 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 jingle right there. <laughs> How do you say that, Phil? Jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> Every time I have my phone in my hands. <laughs> oh, I'm lucky that one stayed dim. Yeah! <laughs> Yeehaw! Mm -hmm. Just uh, looking at my cell phone and this one hooked itself up while I was jigging. It's got little worms on the back too, this one. Worms? Right there. See him? Weird. Huh? Got little worms on the back of the fish. And I saw some yesterday too, but the big ones don't seem to have them. Only those tiny ones. This is where this madness, the sickness of the lake throat all began. Is this, this lake? Well, Nelson's like that too, Nelson. Oh. That's a better one. Yeah. Not huge. I missed it. Nah, head camera record. Wait. It's only red though. Yeah, that's fine. The screen goes off to see a battery. Not big, but it's a nice one. Not tiny like the other ones. One of our last fish of the day here. <laughs> Man, they're lively. This one's gonna kick good, but you gotta go in the hole. There we go. Should be back. You missed it, eh? I know. <laughs> I just I laid back and I felt weak. There we go. Oh, that's it. It just catches you yeah. out of nowhere. And then it darted for yours. That's fine. Well, that's the end of this camping slash fishing trip. We caught lots of fish, but it's uh, time to go.